Um, I wouldn't even be doing it on my Cricut or on my Silhouette Cameo had they not discontinued the Imagine um, in the ability to print and cut with the Imagine because that was my whole purpose for having that machine was the ability to print and cut. Anyway, with that said, I'm going to start. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take Stinky Pete and the very first layer, which is the black, I've colored in black. These pieces here are for his shirt. I'm going to color them all in red because his shirt was red. Um, whoops, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncolor or undo that first because there's some little black contour lines here that I want to, sh I want these contour lines to show. Um, they're there for a reason on the Cricut cartridges and I like the way they look with the contour. The sleeve, here's what I'm going to show you, I did on this whole, um, the, on Pete. I didn't do it on all of them, I did it on Pete. I did my internal offset and I'm going to use my really fine line here. I'm going to color that line in white. Then I'm going to go back to the line here so I can make it a little bit thicker so it will show. There we go. That's how I... And then I'm going to take and group that whole piece. And you can do these a couple different ways. You can go ahead and layer them all and do a print and cut as one. Or you can do the pieces just like you would with your... Um, Cricut machine and cut them all out in their separate layers. The main thing I wanted to show you here is I really like using the um, faux stitching uh, and I like it because it really makes it his the things pop out. I just think they look much more depending on what you're working on. I wouldn't be using it on every single piece I did. However, I, I like the way it, it looks. And I'm going to take this one, I'm going to group it, and I'm going to move it over here where it goes. Um, these two pieces are red as well. Um, I have to put, put them together before I remember where they go. Now, we have the yellow pieces here. They, I'm going to do um, the background here on this one in a bright yellow and these other little pieces here in the center I'm going to do in black and on this one the same thing on this one I'm going to do I don't know which one I hit first and then I'm going to do the outside these are the buttons I'm going to do the outside whoop whoop not on the outside better check the outside line do that in yellow this is going to be in yellow and then I'm going to take his little scarf thing here and I'm going to go up to my pattern paper and I am going to pick that, not that pattern, I'm just going to pick a pattern. I'm going to go down here into, um, let me see, what colors do I want? Um, let me see, oh I kind of like some of these plaids, let me see this one. And I'm going to go to the advanced options because I want my plaid to be a little bit smaller because this is going to be a small piece. So I'm going to do his little tie in a plaid like that. Then the next pieces I'm going to be working on are all of his facial flesh. I'm going to use the gradient so I can kind of get that textured color. I'm going to color the eyes themselves here in black and this part of the eye in black there's a little contour line in the ear I'm going to do in black and a little dot here in black I don't know how much of this I'm going to need um, let me go up here a little bit and see well nope I'm going to color everything first then I'm going to start moving them where they go his beard is all going to be done in white this um, inside of his mouth is going to be done in black and this tongue is going to be done in a pink and then I'm going to leave this with this which is one of his teeth. This here is actually some teeth and another tooth here. It doesn't have very many teeth but that's what we've got. Then his shoes over here are his little boots 
do the black and the black and the black here. Again, the, somebody had mentioned to me that this looks like a ton of work. Um, if you're only doing one, it may be, but once you do it, you have these files to use over and over and over again. And if you're a scrapbooker, you, you know, I use these, I use these images a lot. I'm a scrapbooker, and um, so I use them frequently. So I guess it was okay where it was at. It doesn't seem like it's, and let me move this. It doesn't look quite right to me there. I forgot to group these two so that my little contour line showed. Let me try this again. And there we go. I think and move this contour line. My daughter is here with my um, granddaughter. They're out in the pool swimming. And I've got my little Wyatt up here with me. He was sleeping, but you know how that goes, that they're sleeping until you decide to do something, then they need to wake up. So you might hear him in the background, and if need be, since I'm just doing this without having to hold a camera, I may just end up picking him up and holding him while I finish up. Now, these are all going to be done in the blue. The very first blue I did is was um, just a dark blue, but I'm going to do this one different because I want to. And on this piece, I also want to do the internal offset. And I'm going to do this in the small line, and I'm going to do it in the white. Then I'm going to go back here and make it a little bit thicker. There we go. Actually, it doesn't show real good over here, but I can deal with it. And let me grab all of this, except for that little piece, and group it. And get this little piece out of the way and this little piece out of the way. And come from... Actually, I need to undo that, how I did it. Because if you group them and you're missing a piece, that piece will move behind. And it won't be in the position you want it in. So, I'm going to regroup that. And then I'm going to move up here, and I'm going to put his pants on him. And then the white here, I'm going to go ahead and take this part of the white and put it where it belongs, this part of the white where it belongs, and we have his eyebrow here, and we have his other eyebrow, and let me see here. His hand is going to go, whoops, I need to move this to the front. His hand is going to go up in the front. And his other hand is, oops, didn't mean to do that, is going to go all the way up here. And I forgot to move it to the front. And there's his other hand. Um... I'm going to go ahead and put his kerchief in here, or, or his neck tie piece. I'm going to go ahead and put this piece in here. I think his arm might be off a little bit. And, and I didn't group that, so your contour lines move when you don't group it. You've got to remember to, there we go. There we go. And I'm going to group this one first and move this over here. And I think all of you are getting the gist of what I did here. Um, I don't need to finish this whole thing because it could get quite lengthy. So I'm just going to zoom out here and show you that is how I put them together. Now I'm going to take all of this out. You saw and you get the idea of what I did. Um, and I'm going to cut this, then I'm going to move the final ones over here to show you. I did the white here, and I don't like um, how, you know, to bring it in so it's smaller. It's too close in. So this one, if I zoom in here a little bit, this white sto faux stitching is better because it's closer to the edge. Same as on the pants. 
this one is off. I don't like that as well. Um, anyway, I just want you to see what they look like when they're done. This Rex, I actually, if I zoom in, I used one of my digital prints, green, to give it the texture. Um, and did, I used my advance so that I could make the pattern smaller because the pattern was real big. Then here we have Alien. All of these I did using my Toy Story Cricut cartridge. And here we have Lotso. And there you can see, whoops, I meant to zoom in here. You can see I did Lotso with the faux stitching all around. Um, and so that you can see, I also put the little white glitter glimmer in their eyes because I really like that. Um, and his eyes, his eyes. There's my grandson. He's waking up. Um, anyway, I what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and show you a picture of each of these um, centerpieces completed um, along with um, he actually you hear my little grandson he says get me out of this thing quick um, sorry about that oh poor baby there we go anyway this one also has a two foot um, Buzz Lightyear. So I will show you all the pictures of the finished product. So be right back with you. Thank you.